Hi, welcome to the Dynamic Attribute Provider plugin series. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the Audit Report app to monitor and analyze our past requests, use query and widgets to filter and process request details. The DAP plugin can pull attributes from different data sources without enrolling them on CloudAZ and use attributes from different sources in one policy. If you're unfamiliar with what DAP plugin does, we will attach a link to our previous video in our description. Here are some key features of Audit Report I will cover in this video. How to use Audit Report to view our policy requests, how to use Audit Report to generate different types of reports, use Report Query to filter records and check report details. On your Cloud AZ, go to Audit Report. First, we have a dashboard overview of our recent activities, such as the top 10 denied policies in the last 30 days, the top 10 denied users in the last 30 days, the top five denied resources in the last seven days, top five allowed resources in the last seven days, and the trend of denied policies in the last 30 days. On the pie chart, when we hover over the green part, we will see that the denied user to view insurance policy details was triggered 196 times in the last 30 days, about four and a half weeks, which is roughly the duration of this project. We can also see specific users and resources that got denied such as MPOL001. Now, go to Reports. We can either select a pre-configured report name or customize our own. By selecting on the different predefined reports, the date, policy decision, report type, and sort will be changed. For this demonstration, I will show you how to configure the query to only get the reports we want. First, I'll be setting the time to a particular day where I executed my desired policies. For me, it will be August 10th. After we set our time, let's set our policy decision. I want to see denied policies only and our resource type, policy details. Our resource name, let's use POL001, which is one of the record numbers of the insurance policy details. I want to see a horizontal bar chart, so let's do that. Click on Run. Here we can see three appear seven times and two appear two times. This means a subject with ID number three tried to access POL001 seven times and got denied. The subject ID number two also got denied twice. Let's take a look at the other charts available. Simply change the report type, such as table, a bar chart, and also a pie chart. Let's change it back to the table. Click on one of the dates. Here we can see the specific event details of the report the policy, the user, the application, the resource they're trying to access, the decision, and the action tried to perform, the host, its IP address, and the event level. We also have our custom attributes, such as the policy type, the user's region, and the user's role. With this, we conclude our video on NextLab's Dynamic Attribute Provider plugin. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the NextLab channel and stay tuned for more CloudEasy videos.